Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Center. I hope everybody's well. I'm doing round two a little bit different this month um, because of time constraints and it being so close to the end of the month. I'm not going to get a chance to be able to do all 12 signs individually. So I'm going to go by the elements. I apologize if that upsets anybody. All right, water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. December 2021, round two. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, hey, that's okay, too. Check your moon, rising, or Venus sign reading. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can be vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. I do have friends. Cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome here. I appreciate y'all stopping by to say hello. If you're new, think we might vibe and stuff, you want to come back some more, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. And if you're returning, welcome back. I missed your face. I have opened comments back up, so as long as people aren't being jerks, I will keep them open. And I appreciate any of you who have viewed some of the recent readings and have reported some comments that I did not get a chance to see. <laughs> it is much appreciated. Thanks for having my back, guys. Love ya, love ya. All right. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel, and it all helps the videos be circulated to those who might need the message. So, cool beans and stuff. All right, we're going to pull a moonology from a water signs. Okay, that's too many. We're going to take that one. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. All right. You know what? A fiery climax approaches. <laughs> Prosperity lies ahead. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do all three. That didn't happen by accident. I believe there are no accidents. There's a purpose for all things. Absolutely. There are no accidents. All right. Give me a wisdom oracle. Water signs just get a little bit more love from spirit in the universe, I guess. All right. Happy, happy. Number 26. All right. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any message you have for my water signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for December 2021, round two. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. I ask that you use it to bring my water sign friends to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. All right. All right. I'm tip down so you don't have to look at my mug anymore. All right. Magician. Oh, you got to be careful with that, y'all. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you do. Be careful what you think. Specifically, what you think and what you say. You may inadvertently manifest some BS into your life. Your strengths. Justice reversed. Chariot reversed. Okay. Weakness. Give me a weakness for a water signs. World reversed. Strength reversed. Okay. What is up with that? All right. What do you want? Why are all these cards upside down? Temperance and Knight of Wands reversed. What's got to go? What's got to go? 
Two of Swords reversed. What's coming in? Three of Swords, full reversed. All right. What do you got to do? I saw it in the upright. That's how we're taking it. Eight of Cups upright. What's the outcome? What's the outcome, friends? Three of Wands reversed, walking away. Bottom of the deck, Four of Wands. <clears throat> Celebration, Destiny, 1111. Twin Flames, if that's your thing. I mean, if that's your thing. I'm not gonna lie, it's not necessarily my thing. If I do have a Twin Flame, I already married and divorced him, so. But that's just me. That might not be you. He's still in my life. I'm kind of stuck with him. We have a child together. I shouldn't be that mean, but whatever. Okay. Mm. Ten of Pentacles. You've got to be careful what you say and what you do right now. Some of you may be on the brink of manifesting some BS into your life. Lack of balance, lack of prosperity. You know, if you say everything's going to crap, everything's going to go to crap. Because that's what the universe thinks you want, right? Alright, what's your strength here? Justice reversed. One on justice reversed. King of Cups, Seven of Wands reversed. That's a heck of a poker face. Don't let him see a sweat, do ya? Nope. You never let him see a sweat. Give me one on the chariot reversed. When it cups up right. Mm. A little more on that. King and Queen of Cups could be strength in numbers. <laughs> You're in charge of where this chariot goes. It's control. You're in control. You never let him see a sweat. Give me one on the weakness. Give me one on the world reversed. It's wands. It's cups reversed. I mean, he's always at work. It's a little bit of a wishy-washy energy. Give me one in strength reversed. Keep you, keep you, put you back. Two of Wands, Knight of Cups. And I have the whole darn family up here in the top row. King of Swords. <sighs> yeah, it's a wishy-washy energy, all right. It's 
think you push and you push and you push until you get drained. All work and no play. Do the logical thing. The cup is there. It's full. One on the pr one on the Knight of Cups. One on the Knight of Cups. Hang in reversed. Stay up in the gallows for a minute, don't you? Hmm. All right. Right, what do you want? Temperance reverse, Knight of Wands reverse. Give me one on Temperance reverse. I feel like things aren't flowing well. Someone could be watching from afar and not being able to act. Okay. Okay. You want things to flow? You want a connection? One of the two is Swords reversed. Eight of Swords. Anxiety about a decision. Four of Swords, set right, four Pentacles reversed. Anxiety about a decision. Not being able to let something go, having to cut something loose, knowing you have to cut it loose, not being able to, difficult decision, do I, don't I? What's coming in? Heartbreak's coming in. Heartbreak and something not jumping. One on three of swords. You want a connection and forward movement where there isn't one. Holy cow, that's a lot of cards. King of Pentacles, the Star, and the Queen of Swords. Yeah. Oh, goodness. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Okay, this is going to sound just goofy as all get out, but... With this heartbreak, it it has to happen. With this heartbreak comes healing. And with this heartbreak, your self-worth comes back. One in this King of Pentacles. Page of Cups reversed. Someone who knew your worth but wouldn't tell you. Someone who couldn't jump. I think you're going to cut somebody out. You want this connection, but it just isn't there. There's no forward movement. And you're anxious about making a choice. Super weird. Okay. What's the Eight of Cups all about? In two seconds. Okay, where was I? Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Talk to me about this Eight of Cups. What you gotta do. It's kind of moving on. It's kind of moving forward. Card of walking on to find those two cups. Doing what's best for you. Yeah. You ultimately need to do what is best for you. 
but that comes with a cost. Mm. What's the Three of Wands about? Three of Wands reversed for the outcome. The moon. The sun. A lot of unanswered questions, but you'd be happier. It's weird. Sometimes not knowing brings you peace. Tower reversed at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Where is it? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it went. There it is. Okay. All right. I'm going to read first. Disseminating moon. Take time to breathe out. All right. If I can find it. There it is. All right. The intensity of the full moon has abated. And what we are left with, that's what this card is asking you, it suggests that the situation you're asking about has now peaked and it's time for you to regroup and learn from your experiences rather than blindly forging ahead. Have faith that what is happening is for the best. Hmm. Interesting. Try to accept the way things are now and give yourself and others time out to relax. Breathe. We can't be on all the time. If you feel you've hit an obstacle or even failed in some way, now is the time to reflect on how to do things differently next time. Be honest with yourself. If you feel bad about your current situation and then remind yourself that life goes in cycles. Hmm. All right. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. It's time to see if you've been a little bit too much of me, me, me. There's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants. But you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have done. Oh, wow. Ring an ear. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh, gone too fast, or stepped over the mark, then accept that on some level you've created this situation yourself, which means you can create your own way out too. When this card comes up, a peak is coming, and it could be fiery. All right. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. This card suggests that you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This comes down to the law of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. 
Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus, and this card holds new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12-month plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship. Or of sexier times. If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon in sturdy Taurus is a sign to not give up just yet. Oh, wow, y'all. Somebody needed that. I told you. I told you. I told you. All right. Happy, happy. Number 26, 2 plus 6 is 8. It is a card of moving on. Hmm. Gee. Joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy in the moment. Being happy moment to moment. For you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is a result of being at one with spirit's plan for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. Oh, my water sign friends. Splash in the tide. I love you guys. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. I appreciate it. If I don't get to your January reading by the end of the year, I hope everyone has a wonderful, happy, happy healthy, and safe new year. Know that you're loved and be blessed. Peace, love, and light.